Hi, good morning. Welcome everybody to today's session on moving to the culture of self-directed learning. This is the second uh, webinar as a part of the series. Cambridge University Press has always been a, a front runner in helping learners build brighter futures and we are excited to be a part of this session being hosted by postgraduate Government Girls College, Sector 42, Chandigarh. Today's session will be taken by Professor Rizwan Khan, who is the head department of English at one of the prestigious universities in India at Aligarh, university, Aligarh Muslim University, who has a vast experience in helping learners and trainers in owning their English language skills. And we are sure today's session will be full of learning. The session would be followed with a small but a very useful presentation by my colleague at Cambridge University Press India, Varun Handa, which will be again uh, followed by a small 15 to 20 minute q and session regarding your questions on both the sessions. Now I take this opportunity and would like to welcome a warm welcome to Dr. Dilip Kumar, who is the Mission Coordinator, State Project Director Rusa at Chandigarh. Thank you, sir, for taking out time and being part of this session. Your August company presence here will definitely make this a, sex, a successful webinar. And now may I request you to please address our audience. Thank you. Dr. Dilip? Sir, you can start, Dr. Dilip. Uh, thank you, sir. Good morning. And uh, first of all, my special compliment and appreciation to the, I think it is a joint venture of Postgraduate Government College, Sector 42, Chandigarh, and uh, Cambridge University Press. And it is a unique intervention in the field of higher education. And uh, because keeping in view the various situation which is going on these days, we required such type of programs. And uh, the webinar, which is act actually acting as a tool for change, for change these days, not uh, possible. The reasons, they are quite clear. But by this way, the, our faculty, our students will be largely benefited on various fronts, you can say. And uh, when we are talking about the knowledge uh, exchange programs, as you have organized, I think uh, these programs, they are not only providing a uh, basic concept of the confidence building in our students, uh, way back in 2015-16, there was a concept of finishing schools a program in by the government of India. Even in the Punjab government, they have implemented this for their own reasons. We could not implement institutions, and uh, I think this is one of the initiative we can. Uh, start in the coming times that how these uh, functional skills can be there in our students. It is a new concept for me and uh, for a number of reasons it is a new concept and uh, one thing uh, I just want to share with my all participants here that if we differentiate between technical skills and functional skills Technical skills is basically provides you a skill for performing a particular task. But when you see the relation with the functional skills, functional skill not only uh, help you in performing the task, but that will help you in providing the confidence, providing you in a better ambience conditions at the workplace. It will help you in providing more communication even the ICT resources can be better utilized. So according to me, it is a better platform for our students in giving, in providing all opportunities, not only to uh, achieve the desired goal, but also I have no hesitation in saying to achieve the excellence in their respective areas where they are actually performing. So it is a, one of the important and I think functional skills and uh, 
the i have uh, studied from the read out from the program that professor is one from chairman of the english department of uh, legal muslim university is the main key speaker for this particular session i think he will rightly and aptly throw light on various dimensions of the functional skills and self learning how this actually important in these days is also uh, key areas and i don't know one should have a proper module of the functional skills if there is a module it can be three months module and it can be given not as a you can say uh, part of the uh, main curriculum of the university but it can be as a part of the institution wise also and that can be certified by the head of the institution and the director of that very particular government that will definitely help because if you have any certification which helps you in uh, uh, for the marketing purposes also that also essential these days and uh, there are few courses in chandigarh administration which are not duly certified by the punjab university but they are certified by the department of higher education and those certifications were duly acknowledged by the director of higher education in chandigarh administration so i think this is the need of the r that certain modules as as far as uh, if you see the level of uh, students for our outgoing students final year students if we have this type of modules it can be one week to six week module and uh, uh, professor binu dogra principal of this college has taken number of initiative in uh, introducing uh, very short programs in the near past you can say and uh, our very dynamic librarian uh, preeti is doing lot of things and uh, our another my good friend professor puna magrawal if we can plan out certain program with in collaboration with you i think that will be a great help to the students in achieving the desired goal in achieving the satisfaction at the workplace because these days when we visited various uh, multinational companies in the last 10 years we are always able to listen only one thing that uh, the students they are not performing up to the satisfactory level i think this program will provide them not only the satisfaction to the individual but to the employers also and they can have better uh, you can say the confidence and uh, better output uh, of the students in that very particular working environment so my with this words i would like to say that uh, this is a good initiative and it will not only help in confidence building but i i am of very clear opinion that it will also help in their career placement career avenues uh, across the world and thank you very much i am specially thankful to all the organizers and it is a special moment for me also that uh, i belong to this particular institution i have various diverse roots to this institutions in number of ways and for the last 30 31 years and uh, we have seen this institution on a national map in the map which we can say in the map of the mhrd in the map of the gomd of india thank you very much for giving this a special opportunity i can say that where our students can learn lot of things in this crisis covid crisis i can say and they can feel better comfortable and i think they will have more happiness and enjoyment after listening more and more from your different sessions thank you very much thank you uh, dr dilip for your encouraging words and definitely the product uh, which we have at cambridge university press would solve all the requirements of your students and we'll definitely discuss this further in the further sessions and uh, followed by a meeting with you also so thank you once again for your encouraging words and throwing light and without it, uh, taking much uh, time 
I would invite Dr. Rizwan to please start the session. Over to you, sir. I hope I am audible to all of you. Yes, sir. Okay, a very good morning to um, all of you. At the very outset, I would like to thank uh, the team COP, Cambridge University Press, um, Ms. Richa Batla, and uh, the team Vinit uh, and all, uh, Priti, uh, Varun, and all. Uh, besides, I would also like to thank the uh, principal uh, of the government PG college, Sector 42, Chandigarh, uh, Binu Dogra ma'am, and also uh, Preeti ma'am, the librarian over there. Uh, finally, I would uh, like to thank uh, at the very outset, Dr. Dilip Kumar Saab for making uh, this opportunity a uh, success, you know, uh, making it happen, actually. Uh, to the participants, uh, the topic for today's talk is moving towards the culture of self-directed learning. Uh, friends, uh, this topic uh, uh, is very relevant. <clears throat> uh, it has always been, but uh, it, is, it has become all the more relevant today in the uh, COVID-19 situation. And it is going to remain. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we just can't think that uh, uh, it's going to be over. Uh, so <clears throat> there were some, uh, we always talked of a classroom, which is, or a curriculum, which is learner-centered, and a curriculum, which is interaction-based, a curriculum, which is uh, discussion-based. But we have not been able to do this. But today, because of pandemic situation, we are, you know, in, in a situation where, as students, we have to take initiatives. So this session that I'm going to give you is where the learners have to now finally take up their responsibility for learning. The whole you know, process of teaching and learning, uh, in the whole process of teaching and learning, the students and the learners have to be a partner. You know, They have to collaborate in the process of teaching and learning. So what does it mean? You know, I'll be talking uh, by sharing uh, some of the points. I will give you, first of all, the justification for that. And then I will uh, show that, you know, why is it important and what, what we can do and how we all are going to, uh, you know, um, uh, make it uh, happen. So um, I hope you can, uh, uh, you can, see the slides um okay uh, can you see the slides yes sir we can see sir okay, okay see. great so uh, <clears throat> to the uh, students i start with a very basic question why do we get education you know that is a very important thing and uh, most of the times, you know, we think that it is for getting information or getting achieving knowledge or say uh, there has been a very old dictum right from the old age, you know, ancient uh, learning and teaching situation of character building and personality building of students. Uh, but what I think is that what is most important is to become independent learners. So my contention here in today's discussion is that the main purpose of the whole education system is to make the learners independent learn. So you have to target when you are studying, you know, you have to target that. Are you becoming independent learner and how all you can, you know, because the teacher is not available all the time over there. So the uh, what what happens in a in a typical classroom in a typical classroom? The teacher introduces a topic, he defines the concept, exemplifies, uh, explains, and sums up. Generally, generally, broadly speaking, whatever is the subject of uh, you know your studies, generally the teacher does all these things. And you know uh, the question today is that why why is it that the definition has to be given by the teacher? Why is it that the students expect that the examples should also be given by the teacher? Well, introdu introducing the topic, explaining the topic, uh, elaborating upon that is fine. But the point is that how and where we can collaborate with the teacher. 
because the teacher now remains merely a facilitator is not going to give you all knowledge because the knowledge is not the target uh, of studying you know of teaching and learning so therefore you know some questions that i have raised over here for you the points to ponder is that can't you as students provide definitions diagrams and examples why is it that all the time the teacher has to give definitions diagrams and examples and if the teacher does not give we say that you know the teaching was not done he didn't he didn't even define it he didn't give, even provide the examples or you know so the thing is that there are certain aspects in a in a topic which you as students can be equipped with when you go to the classroom you go ready with the definitions diagrams and examples i am talking of your responsibility as students there has been various seminars conferences training programs faculty development programs where we talk of training the teachers but we hardly talk of training the learners therefore it's really great that cup thought of this topic that where we are talking of what all the students should do to prepare themselves to become independent learners uh, we often say that you know uh, that it is information or we go to the classroom for uh, you know seeking knowledge but no today after internet uh, the emergence of internet is getting information or getting knowledge is not a distant thing it is uh, you know it is available everywhere however the teaching and learning situation generally is teacher dominated with a maximum teacher stock time uh, you know when there is a lecture where there is a online class or in a, you know in face to face classroom situation it is the teacher talk time which is important and generally the students are passive so uh, that is a, a you know my my that is a point where i i want to hit that the students don't need to be passive besides there very important point that is examinations you know examinations have a backwash effect backwash effect means we study according to the examinations if the examination you know we are always looking for you know as a students that what unit i am going to be asked what topics are going to be asked in the examination so such approach is there that is what is called examination has a exams have a backwash effect as is the exam so is our studies so this is also a very wrong uh, approach therefore you know we have to uh, think more because if you want to become an independent learner am i thinking critically of a topic uh, do i participate in the classroom do i get an opportunity to present something in the you know presenting something giving a presentation it can be ppt or oral or you know or do i get a situation to analyze something evaluate something we do we get an opportunity to question uh, you know question some concepts some discussions Uh, so these are some of the aspects which are important you know it is it is very important to engage yourself to involve yourself to get an opportunity for yourself to you know to to do these 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 aspects of learning because these are the things which will make you you know independent learners why i am saying independent learners for example you know uh, i will give one example to explain this particular point that you know like in english for example uh, if 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 the teacher teaches or to nightingale in the classroom and if the same question is asked if the same poem is asked in the examination we score 70% 80% marks but if the poem is if the poem is changed if if you know if the teacher teaches or to nightingale but if 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 the question is asked about or to gracian urn the students fall flat why because it was not taught in the classroom why because i was not trained in the ability to analyze a poem okay if we if we develop the ability to analyze a poem in the classroom we will be able to analyze any poem which is given to us so becoming independent learner is that the teacher does one thing in the classroom and then after that you are able to do something else that is why you know these these aspects are very important that am i able to speak am i able to explain things am i able to analyze things uh, and you know as a students you must know that like for example one aspect in your various competitive exams is like data interpretation when you think of reading comprehension you know we always focus on reading of the passages and we don't think in terms of you know reading uh, the graph 
the chart, the tables, the bar charts, the students often fail to analyze such things. So these, these abilities to participate, to critically think, to analyze, to evaluate, to question, these things are very important for students. And these are not only you know, abilities which are related to English language, but are also related to your life skills, your communication skills, your employability skills. So these are the things which are going to help you in your future life and not merely understanding you know, a poem. So our, our teaching learning situation is like, you know, the teachers generally pour knowledge into our brains as if, you know, mind is a vessel. But actually, Plutarch has long ago said that mind is not a vessel to be filled, but a fire to be ignited. So this is, this is very important. Learners, the role of the teacher is to ignite your, you know, your, your brain, your mind, but there is your role also to play something you know you have also to participate in this thing and this is the reason that uh, you know this question is asked and there is a very interesting article you can google it sometime that why don't learners learn what teachers teach the the amount of teaching is not proportionate to the amount of learning why is it so we need to think of it one of the reasons is the initiative at the level of learners which needs to be you know ignited which needs to be uh, carried forward therefore uh, so what is it if we talk of the system to be changed it is a long process we do need to redefine our classroom situations yes but who will redefine who will revolutionize and when it will all take a long time and therefore uh, uh, i i think that you know we have to initiate it without waiting for any system any change in the system we as participants, you know, we as students, we have to come forward and make our own efforts. Those who make efforts, they learn. Those who don't make efforts, they don't. So our own effort is very important. How to do it? It is the self-directed learning, which will help you in understanding that particular point. So now there often people think that, can I do something? Friends, our intelligence is also always thought in terms of IQ, uh, intelligence quotient. But I want to tell you something, uh, dear students and dear participants, that now IQ is not relevant today. Today we are talking of multiple intelligences. What does it mean? It means that each one of human being, each human being, each one of the students is intelligent does have a certain intelligence inherent in that particular person. So some of you are music smart, some of you are body smart, some of you are you know, interpersonal uh, people smart, word smart, logic smart, nature smart. Some smartness is there in each one of you. You have to identify that smartness and you have to take up the initiative. Believe me that never think that you cannot do a certain thing. You are intelligent enough and you can take up something, you can do the best possible things for yourselves. What is SDL? As the title uh, suggests, it is self-directed learning. Now, self-directed, at the very word, you know, explains, uh, it's not a new concept. It has started somewhere way back in 1990s, and there are various other um, uh, such aspects which are, uh, uh, you know, which were in, in, in the process and various concepts have come uh, earlier also, but here right now we are talking of self, uh, uh, you know, the culture of self-directed learning. What happens in this, I have got two, three slides about this, but I will not go much into the theory of it. It expects self-motivation, self-management, self-monitoring and self-modification. So that means you have to be motivated, you have to manage your learning, you have to monitor your learning, and then you have to see, you have to see a certain change, a certain modification in yourself. So uh, there is another slide which talks about the questions that you can ask and know about the self-directed, as, as a self-directed learner. Look at the top of this slide. It says, ask yourself these questions before asking others for help. You know, as students, we always jump to, you know, asking questions to, teachers or uh, you know tutors or somebody who is uh, around you we hardly ask questions to ourselves so self-directed learning 
suggests that you have to first of all question yourself how i will tell you just now within one minute but the point is that the questions you know you have to question yourself what are my requirements what do i need where do i lack what are my strengths how can i benefit from my peers how can i benefit from my friends what friends should i have who can help me in this and then you go forward in working on those lines uh, this is the third slide which again says you can study from the right side self assessment is there establishing goals develop a plan implement the plan and again reevaluate uh, you know these are some of the slides which you can always google and you can find it so i am not going into these uh, these these theoretical aspects rather i have taken up a very you know uh, i have tried to merge merge your your needs and uh, visa be visa be uh, self directed learn so the very first uh, point is that self motivation believe me without motivation without self esteem you know without your own self interest you are not going to learn anything you know so 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 uh, uh, so you know we, we cannot wait for anything we have to as a students you know we have to think of motivate ourselves and identify your own goals at the level of motivation your learning ob objectives your problem areas you have to identify these things and on the right uh, column you can see that for example if you identify some of the goals your goals can be that i am weak at reading comprehension for example or you can say that i am weak at vocabulary for example um, you know or or you can weak at grammar for example so so what you can do is you can you need to uh, uh, go for self management and when you think of self management uh, you know uh, we go on to you know looking for books looking for, i'm i'm thinking i'm talking in terms of reading comprehension and vocabulary so if your target is reading comprehension and vocabulary and if you want to think of self management you can go to think of some books is there some book available over there nowadays sadly believe me in our time when all our, all the students generally all the students used to have one dictionary and one book on vocabulary and the most popular book which is still available in the market and age wheeler shop at the railway stations is word power made easy red colored this size book not very big but we must look for a book you know or and reading newspapers and magazines the, this habit is also almost finished now there are some students who do you know read on online newspapers and all but you know generally this reading newspaper and reading magazines has been finished a student must have a dictionary a book and some newspaper you know some good newspaper i will not mention any one but in different areas different newspapers are there and you have to subscribe to some magazines and newspapers for that besides nowadays we think of e resources um now having a knowledge of e resources is very important and uh, every library every institution uh, is being funded by the government of india you know in you know it's being given priority where a lot of hundreds and thousands of e resources are available one of the e resources that uh, i could see is the cca which is which is being uh, produced by cambridge university press is a very good example of because it has series of you know self learning mode uh, tasks so 150 units in you know in 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 a general english uh, cca series so so such type of e resources you know it it is in abundance you have to find out a good one which can help you most which provides you an opportunity to you know identify this thing believe me knowing about the book you know grabbing the books grabbing the e resources is very important once again i will tell you that you know going to the library and identifying the books earlier there was a system we knew i mean still i can tell you in our library where we can find books on german literature where i can find books on french literature where i can find books on shakespeare but if you ask the students nowadays they don't know they don't even know the floors where they can find these things so self management is very important 
So identify your goals, identify your weaknesses, and then accordingly, you know, um, you know uh, grab and get the appropriate books and newspapers, magazines, and be a permanent reader of it. Uh, you know, um, this, this, these books and these resources can be supported by your teachers. In the third row, you can see your teachers are facilitators with whom who will provide you inputs. They will give you collaboration, you know, and they will give you some sort of assessment also in your process. So the teacher is a facilitator, basically. You are doing the job and the teacher is to help you out, is to build you, is to support you over there. Likewise, the role of the peer is also very important. The classmates, the friends, they are going also going to help you a lot in this regard. It is very important to have a good company. You know, people who have the same goals must meet once at least a day and discuss their issues, their problems, and how they can improve upon that particular point. So, you see, um, now if you come to self-monitoring, you know, it is very important. You know, how, how do I monitor? I will keep one file and I will see how is my, I, uh, how am I developing myself? So that file which you, which you maintain, keeping the record of each week or each day or each month is called a portfolio, where you put the record, what I did last week, how much I have improved in the next week, uh, what I am trying to say over here in this self-monitoring thing, I'll give you a very small example over here. Maybe I don't like reading English newspaper, but since I have to improve my reading comprehension, I must read an English newspaper. First day when I take up, please don't rush to read the news, English newspaper for one hour. No, it is not possible. You read it for five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes. Maybe you just look at the headlines. Maybe you don't read the whole, whole, whole newspaper. So, but what happens is that if you monitor yourself and if you develop a habit of reading, visiting the newspaper every day, you will see that while on the first day you threw the newspaper in five to seven minutes, but in a fortnight after 15 days, you will see that, oh, today I read the newspaper for half an hour. So this is a development. And believe me, this is an achievement for you. Why? because you are inductively, you are you know, self-inducing the reading skill and the vocabulary. Because what happens in the newspaper is that a certain national issue, for example, is taken up, and then that news is repeated time and again over a period of one week or 10 days. And that is how you are imbibing, you are acquiring the words and the vocabularies and the phrases related to those particular topics. And this is how you are developing the, 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 the vocabulary over here. Friends, I would like to tell you one thing very important over here, that reading the, you know, uh, reading the, uh, reading does not mean thumping the dictionary. Whenever we start reading, we start, you know, looking at uh, the word meaning activities. No, don't do that. Because in, in your own mother tongue, if you think, we never consult a dictionary. How do we understand the difficult words? By guessing it. By guessing from the context or by guessing from its form, from its structure. So what I would suggest you is that don't look for dictionary for each and every word. You consult the dictionary only when it is a must, when you think that I'm not going to be able to go ahead. So put in your effort in guessing the meaning of the difficult words rather than straightway jumping to the dictionary. Don't use dictionary as a, otherwise dictionary will become your, you know, your support system. It, it should be, but it should be done only for in a difficult situation. So, and when you are talking of reading comprehension, you know, you may have a problem of reading speed because comprehension and reading speed goes, you know, side by side. They are not two different things. Comprehension is measured in terms of understanding and also in terms of speed. How fast I read and how fast I understand. So therefore, it is very important to put yourself to practice. Believe me, our examination system in India is basically reading based. Why? Because most of our examinations are writing based. You write what you read. 
you know and generally our spoken thing is 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 you know is uh, compromised over there so self monitoring is very important and how are you going to self monitor you keep a track of yourself that i am trying to improve my vocabulary today i start reading the newspaper today i read it for 5 minutes but automatically if you put a habit of reading visiting the newspaper every day you will see that after 15 days you read the newspaper for longer time and you have in, you know you have acquired some new vocabularies over there of course you can keep a track of the vocabulary and you can keep a track of your reading speed and articulation of reading also there are so many other things about reading that we can talk during the question answer sessions so uh, so the last point is self modification that i was talking to you the self modification is that you you yourself need to through monitoring you yourself will find that is there a change in me did i find some new words did i acquire some new vocabularies over there you are keeping a track in the portfolio and you will see that you have done it i tell you i can just say this much that if you try doing something you do find a positive change in yourself it is a very simple and uh, you know natural uh, process that if i try doing something and when i struggle doing something i learn something and there is a certain change certain positive change in me so that self modification is there so your the behavior the attitude will change one more thing i would like to tell you over here before i go ahead is that there will be errors there will be mistakes so many things that you will guess will be wrong but you don't have to worry about the errors you know english is not a holy language how many errors do you make in your mother tongue every day have you ever thought of it i personally make at least 50 or 50 or 100 of mistakes in my own mother tongue and i am using it shamelessly everywhere so why can't we do with that in english for example we make mistakes mistakes and errors every day in our mother tongue why can't we make mistake why should we be ashamed of mistakes in english language you learn by making mistakes you don't you know we we cannot start like you know uh, that we, we we have we have uh, you know we have uh, done it so so don't be ashamed of errors make errors and you will improve upon that so there are some gray areas in this as you know self uh, directed learning and uh, you know um sometimes we think that oh, we we don't know how to handle autonomy now this autonomy is a very important thing believe me we talk of teachers autonomy and we talk of learners autonomy but we don't know how to use our autonomy it is very important to use our autonomy agar aapko azadi di gayi hai to use it for a positive you know in a positive manner for a positive thing if for building yourselves you know make use of that rather than you know we are always guided by instructions we are always i mean if the teacher gives uh, if the teacher says that okay write something on 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 the issue of uh, unemployment what happens you go and write but what happens actually the students always go to the teacher sir how many words should i write how many paragraphs should it be an essay what should i write first no the teacher did not talk of all these things he just asked you to write so you write okay so we are you know we have been made in such a way that our our you know our we are not used to using our autonomy use your autonomy you know this self directed learning is about autonomy there may be some errors don't be discouraged about that and uh, you know it is it is a very time taking process you will be engaged if you do this go into self directed learning you will be constantly engaged into uh, activities uh you know uh, nevertheless uh, we need to overcome uh, to succeed we have to overcome our errors we have to struggle why to succeed in doing something like that believe me uh i can just say this thing that positive changes in your behavior in your attitude in your learning and your confidence will be visible in a fortnight if you just try it you try something doing it you will get my contact and you can get back to me and you can share with me that sir i got some changes in myself i am sure nobody can say 
that I read newspaper for 15 days and I did not improve on my vocabulary. Nobody can say that I read newspaper for 15, 20 days and I did not improve upon my reading comprehension. Believe me, the one who does, that is the person who learns. Generally, the teachers do everything, so they learn it, not their students. You as a student, you have to take it up and you have to focus at your problems, your goals, and you have to struggle. I mean, uh, take up the responsibility of doing things. Teachers are there to facilitate you. Your classmates are there. Your peers are there. Your neighbors are there. Such agencies, you know, like CUP is doing this thing. Uh, Dilip Kumar's hub from Rusa is there. You know, the college is there. So everybody is there for you. And they are all coming forward for you. Believe me, there is a very Chinese, a very old Chinese saying, which I have convert, converted a little bit over here, that if you get a fish, you earn for a day. But if you learn fishing, you get food for life. I want you to learn fishing and not target on getting one fish. That one fish is good for once. But if you learn fishing, whenever you need a fish, you will go fish it and be happy. So your target should be learning fishing and not just achieving one fish. Uh, that is why my whole contention in today's discussion was that it is very important for you to become independent learners. If your teacher has taught Port to Nightingale, you should be able to read on your own the other poems and understand it. If you're having a problem in that, go back to your teacher and go back to your peers, discuss with them, struggle with it, and you will learn this particular thing. I would like to stop with this, and um, I thank you all for this. I wish you good luck. That's all from me. If you have any questions, we will. Uh, I'm ready to respond to them. Thank you very much. Thanks, Richard. Thank you so much, sir. So the session was absolutely interesting for everybody. I am super convinced after this session, so it was so insightful. And how can I say with this conviction? Because I could see a plethora of questions coming up on the screen. So dear audience, my name is Richard Bakla, and I will be taking up your Q&A round in a short while. Before this, I would like you to have a look on the ways to improve English through self-directed learning. Because Cambridge, as you know, is well known for its difference resource material. And today we are specifically touching upon the communication skill related to self-directed learning. Most of us face challenges when it comes to improving our communication skill, not being dependent on somebody, but on our own self, how to take those initiatives. So we have a solution for you. And my colleague, Mr. Warren Handa, is going to tell you what is that solution. So over to you, Varun. Thank you so much, Richa, and Professor Rizwan for such a productive session. I'm sure participants found the insights very useful. Hi, everyone. I am Varun Handa. And today, I will run you through one of Cambridge University Press's brand new offering called Cambridge Communication App. Let's not waste time. I'll share the PPT with you. Let me know when you all can see the stream, please. Yes, Varun, it is visible. Great. As very well explained by Professor Rizwan, under the umbrella of moving to the culture of self-directed learning, which is now new normal these days, that one should develop self-motivation, self-management, self-monitoring and self-modification to not only improve individuals' communication skills, but overall skill development. As very well quoted even and highlighted by Professor Rizwan, that if you get a fish, you earn for a day, but you, if you learn fishing, you get food for life, which is only possible 
if you become an independent learner. As we all know that English is not as a tool to power, instead tool for communication and communication needless to say is highly regarded in adult world. As we all even know that the modern workplace is highly competitive and demands of its workers communicating with customers, colleagues and partners as every day of it. Not only this, but today employer look after employees who do not just have formal qualifications and traditional skills in that, but also are adept in communication. So that one should be able to thrive in a global work environment. You all will amazed to know that India is one of the countries which has highest level of business interaction overseas. So I'm sure it tells how well prepared we as Cambridge must be when it comes to communication and communication is the only skill to which we can continuously work upon and it goes with ever ending process. To continue this process of learning, I'm super excited to share the information on a new communication app with you now. Cambridge Communication App is a latest offering from Cambridge that aims to refine your English language skills in a fun and engaging way. When I say in a fun and engaging way, you will surely relate it in my later presentation. We bring you what you need. Today walkthrough will have two things. A, what this app offers to you. B, to see how this app helps you in your learning requirements. Let's have a quick information of the app. Cambridge Communication app is a self-led English learning app. It means any learner can learn adv and advance his or her communication skill and become a confident speaker, which even means that you can learn and practice anytime plus anywhere you want to and you possibly can. This brings you the huge flexibility to learn while you are at home, college, or on the move. As you all can see on your screen, that it covers two themes here. One is business English. Second is general English. Business English will help you to interact, to communicate in your business and work life. Whereas general English will help you socially, to help you in social interaction. These both themes comes with three levels named as foundation, basic, and intermediate. Each of these levels is comprised of 25 units plus 25 tests, which takes you to the one theme. Likewise, under business English, you will get 75 units and 75 tests to practice. Similarly, goes to general English. There are three levels, foundation, basic, and intermediate. And on a similar ground, as there is in business English, you will get 25 units plus 25 tests for each level to practice. If I say overall, overall you will get 150 units and 150 tests to practice. Isn't it a lot of practice tools which you have it and a unit to say when you are ready for the communication skills? Each unit will give you 15 to 20 minutes of sitting time. And each test will take five to seven minutes of your sitting time. Not a longer time to sit, but a very interactive way to learn and communication. To the next slide, you can see this few of the landing pages from our app. Once you download the app and open the page, you will see there are two themes, business English and general English. We took the, these slides, these landing pages from the business English you can see there are three levels, foundation, basic, and intermediate. And the topic related to it is presented under these specific and respective levels. Just not being on theoretical path, we thought of taking you to the tour of live example of the app. So we pick up, we picked up an example from one of the business English communication team 
the one of the topic is meeting and greeting people here you can see in between we'll try and make you see how, look and feel how the app works as you can see it starts the topic with a greeting and it makes you in, interact and ask you to respond on that not only this it even asks you the various questions the next option which you can see is to listen to this audio what are these people doing as a participant as a user of the app you have answered it and it's appeared it in green that you have correctly said it it not only allows you that it is correct or wrong but also it tells you why how this has been a correct answer or where you have must have been got wrong as you all can see this app is very much communicative actual work related scenario makes it more interesting while you record your voice you see a lot of pictures you listen to the uh, recordings and record it to, as an answer to the respective question this ensures the reflect, reflected learning of yours the next option which you can see on the app while going to the course is listen to them by speaking what greeting do they use when the user answered it and then answered it wrong it highlighted in red and it not only tells you that is incorrect that even tells you that it is correct you must have listened that audio and you can see how the app is asking you how interactive it is right how does she greet her let me take you to the some of the features as you as you all have seen that cambridge communication app covers learning english at three levels and even covers l s r w that is listening speaking reading and writing each units followed by self assessment and can be reassessed any time along with l s r w skills it is also comprises of grammar and vocabulary inputs plus some question notes caution notes basically are small which alerts you to common mistakes and also tell you on how to avoid those features like language function notion and various structures that required to navigate through such situation you'll have seen lot of images audios video voice recordings features were there so that we call it as a practical elements elements important to you to communicate effectively there are a lot of learning and practice content too you can repeat unit or even unit test as many as time you like for all three levels under business and general english courses there is one more feature which i'm sure you have experienced it while i have shown you a live demo of the app chat bot style approach this is the most attractive feature of app which makes it more interactive and engaging yes it is enabled with artificial intelligence interactive chatbot not only this but lot of real life learning experiences self assessment recording voice feature for practice communication skills by yourself lot of digital sources examples which enables the reflective learning pause here with this slide will show you the various topics which will you will cover under business english as you all can see we have covered almost everything how to create while you there in your workplace how to represent the presentation what how, how to communicate when a client visit happens how to even communicate when an internal presentation happens and you showing taking profits showing the figures stocks and shares even making a presentation to the investors 
it's also also emphasis on your self development you have a startup story to take care of the here getting ready for an interview building customer loyalty what not this slide will take you to the general english topic list and i'm sure you will agree on this that we have covered from a to z everything from the morning you start your day you meet your friend you go to school you get into the classroom you go to a restaurant you go for a family dinner even you go for a dinner with friends how to communicate while you hanging out with friends even if you are planning a holiday even if you are planning a wedding on a cloud nine or at a restaurant and maybe you are standing in a railway station and how to communicate with the co passenger it helps you in every way you would have thought about so i'm sure you might be excited i'll not take you much time and i'm sure you must be excited too aren't you so just take a self tour along with learning through this incredible cambridge communication app as an introductory and limited time offer you will get 10 units free until the end of this app uh, sorry end of this month which gives you good amount of 15 20 hours of booking learning content what you all have to do is just go to the google play store and type cambridge communication app download it practice and test your understandings not only this but do spread this incredible learning tool to your friends mates so that maximum can get benefit out of it once you go through the app request you to please share your feedback your feedback matters a lot you can do it through your app itself let me show you how So while you open your app, the page, the landing page gets appear, and then you have a hamburger menu. When second last option is share feedback, share the information, whatever you feel like to. But most importantly, your honest feedback will help us in improving the content and the app for you. Thank you very much. Hope you all have enjoyed this session. the tour of this small tour of this communication app i would even ask request you all to can register uh, to the upcoming event that will happen on 20th august thank you very much for your patient listening thank you richa thank you so much varun it is really an amazing app as i myself is using this app to improve my english on daily basis so i have this conviction to tell my people that you must try and your audience you know that you are very special people over here why am i saying that you are special because you are aware about what cambridge is offering for free to the people in today's time this is august until august 31st we are offering cambridge communication app absolutely free now there could be a question who should be the users of communication app people like richard or anhanda or many others they are very really good with their communication do they actually need yes we do need on a daily basis it is very important in the corporate world to keep polish yourself in the school life i do have my cousins at home they continuously polish their skills why do they polish their skills because that is the need of the 21st century and that is the importance of today's session it is about focus on your communication skill but then how should i be dependent on my teachers my friends my cousins in the work environment in the school environment in the college environment no in your own created environment and that's how we could see that there are plethora of questions coming up we will be taking as many questions as possible in today's session and rest of the questions could be covered on a separate email to you which i'll be sharing with you many people are also wanting to hear from us is there any certification for such program such kind of webinars yes absolutely there is a certification for all of you because you are devoting your valuable time to learn something more to 
upskill yourself to be better wherever you are. So you would be definitely getting a certificate. The process about the certification, I will be telling with you, telling you shortly. Before that, let us take some questions and then, then go ahead. What's the next step? So today, uh, there are so many questions and I am having Varun as well as Priya with me to take the questions related to CCA. And I have Professor Rizwan with me who will be taking up questions related to SDL or communication skill in general. So, so question to you first, how can we make use of focus mode and diffuse mode at the same time? So a learner is wanting to focus on SDL. This is by Dr. Yogita. She says that I want to just upskill myself when it comes to SDL or my learners towards SDL. But how can I make use of focus mode and diffuse mode for this purpose? Uh, can, I, can I speak on this? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, there is a warning for all teachers and students. Because what happens is that uh, when we think in terms of binaries, you know, in uh, English language learning and teaching also, there are so many binaries. We say that fluency is important. You know, we say that appropriateness is important. Uh, you know, when we say that fluency is important, it does not mean that accuracy is not important. So we have to handle the binaries in a very, very, uh, you know, very uh, carefully. What I mean is that this, uh, uh, when you call about the uh, focus mode and diffuse mode, you see focus mode, when you talk of it, actually you have to move. The, the brain works collectively, you know, the brain works in diffuse mode, but it moves from focus to diffuse mode. So when you say diffuse mode, the work, you know, it's not one area of brain, but all over with focused, uh, uh, focused, uh, you know, um, theory, you can say, or you can say the, the aspect or the concept over there. So let us not think in terms of that you are merging two different things. It is moving from focused to diffused. This is my response on this particular question. It is not one, it is not one. We cannot take that right now I'm focused more and then I am diffused mode. No, it is. It does not happen like that. Brain is brain. You know, it works uh, vehemently. You know, it's in a very vibrant manner. So we have to be very careful. Move from focus to diffuse. Thank you so much, sir. And this, uh, this I said with regard to all binaries, whatever binaries in our life we have. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. So this now next question is again to you. This is by Surbhi, Surbhi Chandan. And the question is very interesting. It says that whatever would be the era, be it 21st century or later, the role of teacher will always be there. Teacher would be irreplaceable. Yes. So, but then equally SDL is also very important. So how do we marry these two things that the teachers and the self-developed, self self, uh, sorry, self-direct learning, SDL, can go hand in hand. Yeah, I will tell you uh, in a very in one sentence. I will answer this question, and actually, this I have been telling my younger colleagues in my department also. We have a big department of forty-six teachers. I often see my teachers coming out of the classroom with all commitment, with all you know, uh, labors put in in the class, with all their efforts and sweating. They come out of the class, and then I ask them, "Why are you sweating?" They say, oh, I came from the class. I say that, no, don't sweat yourself. Sweat your students. Me. So the efforts that you are, you know, you facilitate them. We don't have to, you know, uh, put all the efforts on our ourselves. As I said in the very beginning, when I go to the classroom, I don't give any definition. I tell the students that, okay, give me the definition. If it is a, you know, instant class, if it is a class scheduled before, I tell them that next class you bring the definitions. Let them bring the definitions. Let them bring the examples. Let them give some samples, some diagrams. 
why does a teacher of uh, zoology while teaching in the classroom he makes a whole diagram of digestive system of a frog no there is no need so what i am saying is that you know teacher is not replaceable teacher is very important so far teacher has not been you know replaced but that concept of teacher that teacher is all teacher is the knowledge keeper teacher is the torch bearer teacher is the one who gives the light that has to be minimized this when we say when we believe in this concept of a teacher we undermine the abilities of the students our our teachers often use the word bachchas for the students no i am totally against it the students are wise enough you let them work let them do the things and you will see they will do in a wonderful manner i have been experiencing it when i give some work to them they do it in an excellent manner some of them they do copy from here and there that we can always control there is always a plagiarism test we can do through google and many other other softwares so that is there teachers are very important but what i said is that they have to collaborate the students have to collaborate in learning and teaching process when they collaborate when they participate they learn it when i do the things i learn it when i give the definition in the classroom i search for definition when the students are asked to bring definitions they search for definitions and when they search they search in through the by surfing they search through the library they search in books they search in e books and then that is how they learn so that is the whole difference it's a it's a difference of 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 you know uh, efforts you know the approach that we have to make we have to make the students do we will not do things on behalf of the student believe me by doing so we are not only undermining the students but also we are not giving the students an opportunity to learn and acquire knowledge that's it right now very well said sir i think role of facilitator is very very important and teachers like we have also been teaching and we have seen that instead of spoon feeding the students now it is a time of yes. holding leadership absolutely yes. well said so uh, yes i think this is a learning session going on for the students as well as for the teachers like me i am actually enjoying it and now the question is related to cca this question i would request priya to answer and priya you're there so let me just find if i have my colleague over here priya is there varun i would be answering later uh... all right thank you so much for coordinating vinith so the question which we are wanting to ask the audience wants to ask varun uh, can answer that which is related to that is this app helping me in monitoring my ability because we talk about sdl so now when i use this app as a individual will i be able to monitor how much i am learning from this app thank you so much acha yes uh, so as you all have seen when i was showing the presentation there was a live streaming of the app which even shows you the user experience which is has which the app shows that it has a reflective learning while you have to record your voice you can listen to the answers you can prepare yourself and there is no limitation to the uh, number of times you repeat it once you complete the session complete the unit take the test and even then you can go back you know uh, I, for an example i take uh, i have completed 10 units of business english and after completing 10 or 15 units i go back to the session unit 1 and i see that where i was standing at that moment of time what was the uh, test assessment shows it you can n number of times you can retake the assessments you can uh, even go through the unit and if you see that you are still not aware of that uh, particular unit or particular sessions you can go forward with that this um, not only this the striking images comes in interactive images comes in which makes you an interactive session which even allows you to actually focus on the thinking that how and what people are communicating at that particular moment of time so it basically give you an error it basically gives you an environment uh, the environment which is actual and real life experience for you i hope that answers the question which 
Indeed, Varun. This is a well explanation. Actually, reflective learning plays a pivotal role. Now, we all experience that. I hope we are having 500 present attendees today, right, in the session, live on Facebook and on Zoom. And we all know that this is the era of, you know, you are into social media, you go to various places and you click pictures, you click selfies, you take videos, and then you see back, okay, I should have start, stood better in that posture, or I could now speak better in the other video. So this is all reflective learning. And this app is helping you being learn a lot in reflective learning for the people who are especially liking to have some, you know, some kind of recording done and to understand. That's a beauty that's how we are emphasizing more on reflective learning which we discuss and which Varun also discussed now there are other questions sir this is a very common question related to communication skills people want us to speak better but where we actually fumble is basis the vocabulary the right pronunciation using right grammar and especially speaking right things at the right time when we focus on language we miss out the content and we, when we focus on content, we miss out the language. So how could we marry these two things together, sir? Okay, you see, uh, I said something about it uh, earlier in, during my presentation. Uh, listen, we have to take up language as a skill. When we say a skill, it means there is a continuous process of development in your abilities. It is never final. It is, you know, there is a there is a target somewhere, and we are every time approximating towards that target, that learning. Like I cannot say that my English, my my spoken skill is the perfect. No, I can't say. Nobody can say that particular thing. Because every time we are approx approximating towards the target, the, the actual goal. Number one. Number two, I said that don't we make mistakes in our mother tongue? All those participants who are here, just think of your own mother tongue. Don't you make mistakes? We do make mistakes every day. And believe me, if you start counting the mistakes, it is innumerable. And different regions have different mistakes in our, in Hindi, for example. Some regions have the problem of masculine feminine. I have this problem in Hindi and Urdu <laughs> of uh, differentiating between masculine and feminine. You know, table is masculine or chair is feminine. I don't know. I often make this, this mistake. We keep making mistakes. We, you know, the biggest, the third point that I want to say is that when it comes to English, we take up English as a holy land. Please don't think it like that. English is English is English. It's just a language like any other language. So what will happen then that we will start, you know, the, as I say, people are also asking about, if, is there a book for communication skills? People are asking about some tools. Well, all these things are good to help you, you know, but remember one thing, that you cannot learn swimming just by reading a voluminous book on swimming. You have to jump into water. And when you jump into water, sometimes you will develop infection on, in your ears. Sometimes you will swallow some dirty water. Something will happen. But one day you come out and you, you learn swimming. So the book can be an aid that how to swim, you know, what all I have to do. But you cannot learn swimming unless you jump into water. That is the situation with language skills also. If you want to improve upon your speaking, just speak. Speak. And what, there is one very important thing in oral communication, that whenever we speak, you should, you should think of it, that we always stop with, we always stop with a question. Isn't it? Am I right? Do you understand? Am I clear? Is it so? Why do we do that? Because there is always a confusion that I don't know if the, the other person understood me or not. And there is always a chance to correct yourself. When I say something wrong, you see, yesterday I was nervous. Oh, sorry, sorry, nervous, nervous. I, I mean, angry. You get me? So in speaking, there is a very good thing. 
that you can replace and remove the words. It is not possible in written communication, for example. What you wrote in examination, you wrote it. But when it comes to speaking, there is a lot of scope for correction, self-correction. So why to hesitate? Why to feel shy? Why to, you know, be nervous about it? Just start, jump into water, and you, I'm sure you will overcome it. Believe me when I said that in 15 days, you will see a positive change, I mean it. But of course, there is a warning. Don't start speaking English all the time, everywhere. Of course, you put yourself in a situation, always meet with other people, those who are unfamiliar with you, whom you meet once while traveling, you know, you can talk to them, mix English with Hindi, speak some English words, some English sentences, you know, like this. You put yourself into practice. And believe me, you will see a positive change within a very short period of time. That's, that's all I wanted to say over here. If I miss something, please remind me. Well, sir, nothing is missed, sir. That was well said by you. And uh, adding to this, I would just like to know from Priya also, because Priya is uh, the maker of CCA app. She has played a pivotal role from Cambridge to build this app. So, uh, Priya, would you also help us out that if the students want to use CCA exclusively during this uh, pilot period, uh, that is for 10 days, that they want to explore because it is absolutely free from Cambridge, so would we be able to get some help on speaking, pronunciation, and grammar through this app as well? Hi, Richa. Uh, thank you for the question. Um, regarding grammar, pronunciation, um, yes, of course, the app does aid in that, apart from giving inputs on listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Um, so um, you will see as a student while you're going through the app that there are a lot of uh, caution notes. So there are obviously inputs on grammar, but there are also a lot of caution notes. Um, caution notes are basically small notes that alert the learner to the error um, that most people make and how to avoid them. So that is uh, given within the app and there are plenty of them almost um, you know, two or three for each session. So uh, learners can be sure to know what is right, what is the correct grammatical structure and how to avoid those errors. That is one. As far as pronunciation is concerned, there are intermittent inputs given on pronunciation. And, um, you know, the learners also have, uh, uh, you know, the record and compare feature for them to uh, practice pronouncing the word correctly and as many times as they'd want to. Uh, the record and compare feature basically helps them to record their own voice, compare it with the expert voice by juxtaposing it and trying to figure out uh, whether they've spoken correctly or not. And then they can always go back and repeat it. Okay. I hope, yeah, that answers the question. Yeah, it does. That's that's right. Absolutely right. We have experimented all these things that you are mentioning. And I hope most of the users have already started using the app so they will be knowing the beauty of this app and those who are going to use for the first time after the session, you will learn on your own that what it all has to offer you. So we are now going to take the last question for today because we are running with time and we will be answering. I must tell you that each and every question today we got 70 questions. 70 questions related to Professor Rizwan or some questions related to app. All these questions will be addressed. Some are done right away and some we will be answering you on the email ID, on your personal email IDs and we will also tell you what email you have to write to in order to get the answers. So uh, Professor Rizwan, people say that uh, idiom and phrases also have a lot to play because in business you see different idioms being used or phrases being used in college, in different work environments. So does it have any important role to play or how much emphasis should be given to idioms and phrases? Well, you see, uh, uh, what I'm going to say uh, is related to earlier question also and uh, 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 right now, what Priya uh, spoke about, uh, CCA. You see, uh, when it is a language, everything is important. I mean, take it like this. But when we are talking of the strugglers, you know, students, or those who are shy, or those who are hesitant in using a language, these products are aids, you know. But before that, the students have to 
you know, open your, open their mouth, open their lips. Believe me, it's very important because if you, you know, think from a point of view of somebody who is very much hesitant because of any reason, is not able to speak, starts stammering. So what I'm saying is that idioms and phrases are also very important. I will tell you that the, the book that I said, Word Power Made Easy, for example, is a very comprehensive book and it gives you all types of words, you know, even foreign words which are used in English, words related to different disciplines which are there. There are books which are available over here. Likewise, CCA, I went through it and I can say that it's a very good app to help you as, you know, to build you up, to support you in, 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 in. so the question which is about uh, words and uh, phrases and idioms, they are important, but they are additions. They are to uh, bring, you know, uh, polish and they are, uh, they are there to enrich your language. So that enrichment you keep doing, you get me? And for that you need some books and you need some e-resources. So, so that is the, that is what I wanted to say. Yes, we do need them. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for the insight. So I, yes, can I say one, uh, Richard? Can I say one thing? Just one point, uh, which is which I think is very important. There was a question about ZPD. Yeah. Uh, it is about you know it is something related to. It is it is the most immediate uh, psychological development of learners. You know what I will say here. I have experienced it, and I'm sure most of the teachers have experienced it. This psychological development of learner is the most basic thing. Why? Because when you make a student speak once, and after speaking, you know, the, 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 the confidence and the motivation and the self-esteem that the learner develops in himself is commendable. I will say that the teachers must identify the slow learners and make them, them do a small share of it. That is why making the students work in pairs and work in groups is very important. And when they participate, believe me, they, they, they develop a, a remarkable, you know, uh, psychological development in themselves. It is very, very important in their self-esteem, in their motivation. So make them, make each student, you know, pay attention to each student. When one student, don't you remember in schools, oh, today ma'am, talk to me. Just talking by ma'am is, you know, so encouraging for us small baby it is the same in the university and college level also it is a very important thing and we must pay special attention to that particular thank you richard thank you sir so dear audience today we are coming to the conclusion of this program and we believe that we were able to satisfy you to some extent to the queries that you were having related to self-directed learning so for that now, before moving to the end of the session, I would just brief you about the important pointers. From every session, from every interaction, we do have some takeaway points. Professor Rizwan and Varun has given some good insight about the content and about the app. About the content, the takeaway for me, I would say, is initiative, the root of initiative, taking a stand and practice and perseverance that every day a little effort can bring each one of us to a much higher level. And that is what even CCA says. CCA says that just devote 15 minutes of your time while you're on your bed, on your couch, while eating something, just 15 minutes. It's hardly any time. And that can help you getting better job opportunities, increasing your confidence level, and much higher communication skill. That is why we cover general English and business English both. The beauty of general English to have self-confidence among the peer group, be it anywhere. And the beauty of business communication is better job opportunities, promotion, and many other areas of interest. So today the important pointer is the takeaways that what are we learning from this session? And I'll ask a quick question to the audience here. My quick question to you is, 
did you like this webinar? And do you want such more webinars? Your answer should come up like a thumbs up or a yes. It means because if you like it, we have to do more for you then. And also say something about CCA, which could be, it could be yes CCA, okay CCA. Why am I saying so? Because we are making product only for you. We can come up better and better each time, only when you are supporting us. It is your support which is most precious for us. People who would be a little disappointed that my question was not taken care of, please don't worry. Each and every question will be well taken care of. For that, the email ID is also provided to you. And in the chat box, the email ID can, I can also repeat for the same, and I just need to check that, that is india at the rate cambridge.org. On this email ID, you can send us your questions which we were not able to take away today, and we will cover them all together. Second important thing is about the certification. Everybody wants to be rewarded for the effort done. And you would be surely rewarded for your effort done by attending this session, devoting your precious time with us. You would be getting a certification. The link for this is given on the chat box. You have to just click onto that link. That link will take, up, take you to the feedback form. And once you fill up the feedback form, which is very precious for us again, you will be getting the certificate on your email ID. Another thing which we highlighted, which Mr. Warren Handa highlighted, was about the feedback about the app. Dear audience, this is precious. Today, we see not many challenges in various fairs. We could see plethora of questions coming up here that we don't have a product, we don't have environment, we don't have such classrooms. Your don't have will convert into do have only when we get the feedback. So once you will be using the app, say for a week, say for 10 days now, you would be giving us, if you would be giving us a feedback, we would be able to polish it more. We would be able to spread it across the world because it is a, it is a successful program. So your feedback is very precious to us. Do write to us, do share your feedback on app. And these are the two, three important points that I wanted to share. Now I would request the pivotal person, the person who played a very important role in conducting all these sessions. We are also having one session on 20th. That is also going to be very amazing. There we have a different speaker. Yeah. So you would definitely be getting a lot more to learn in that session too. Now the lady about whom I'm talking about, she is Preeti Sharda. Yeah. And she is from PG Girls Government College from Sector 42 Chandigarh. This lady has played a pivotal role in organizing all the webinars, bringing the right people at the right platform. And I pay whole heart and heartfelt gratitude to you, ma'am, for the efforts that you have done. So over to you, ma'am, for the vote of thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Thank you for such a wonderful introduction about me. Good afternoon, everyone. Honorable Professor Rizwan, our most valued invited guest, ladies and gentlemen, and dear students. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. First of all, I would like to thank principal of my college, Professor Dino Dora, for granting me permission to organize this series of webinars on communication skills in collaboration with Cambridge University Press. My sincere thanks to Cambridge University Press for collaborating with us in this series of webinars. I would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Dilip Kumar for his inaugural address today. His positivity and insight has given a new height to this webinar. My special thanks to speaker of the day, Dr. Rijwan, for making us familiar with his self-directed learning. Thank you, sir. I extend my most sincere thanks to you. Thank you, Mr. Varu, for introducing the communication app to all the participants. I am personally liking this app very much, and I am uh, uh, introducing this app to many of my friends and many of my students. Thank you, Miss uh, Richa Butler, for facilitating the question answer session. Many thanks to Professor Rijwan, Varun, and Priya for satisfying all the queries. As Richa said, the rest of the queries will be answered through mail. Please, Richa and uh, Mr. Vidi, take care about the queries which you get you got in the chat box. 
I take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to faculty members of the various colleges for gracing the occasion. We are extremely grateful to you all to be part of this webinar. An event of this dimension cannot happen overnight. It requires meticulous planning and execution and even eye on details. I would like to thank all the team members of Cambridge University Press and my own colleagues for making it happen. My special thanks to Professor Ulam Agarwal, Vineet Mehra, and Richard Bartla for perfect coordination. I would like to share that more than 1,000 participants registered for today's session. And I'm very happy to share that six, about 600 participants attended the webinar through Zoom and Facebook tab. Thank you, everyone. I hope you enjoyed every bit of this webinar. On behalf of PGDC 42 Chandigarh and Cambridge University Press, I extend my gratitude to you all. Last but not the least, a big thank you to each one of you who has contributed in a way or the other to make this webinar a success. Thank you, one and all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Again, thank you. So dear audience, now we are time to say bye-bye to each other. And before that, one last announcement to you. As we could see that we have got lot many appreciation from people on Professor Rizwan's talk. So dear audience, we would like to also tell you that Professor Rizwan is coming up with a lovely book, which is on interactive English, which is helping you practice a lot in association with Cambridge University Press for Aligarh Muslim University. This book will be out in the month of September and then in the September ed, end, yeah. So September end, this book would be available to AMU students, but this book could also be available to people at large who really want to learn something on interactive English through practice papers because it has worksheets in it. So you can always write to us on the email ID which I provided you before, which was india at the rate cambridge.org. And if you want such materials, be it CCA, be it this book, which is Build Your Language, and many other products on ELT, on communication skills by Cambridge University Press, you are more than welcome to write to us. You know the certification process, you know the feedback process, and that's what I wanted to share with you. Thank you so much for your valuable time. It means a lot. Please share about this webinar to your people in your social media platform, in your WhatsApp group, so that we can get maximum people on the 20th of this month. Thank you so very much for your time. Thank you so much to all the dignitaries present here for your precious time. My back and support team, the entire press, my organization. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thanks, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.